If you're interested in becoming a warrant officer, you have to go through a preliminary event, which is the pre-warrant officer course here in secret. Why are your zippers like that? Dress right dress. Is that understood? So before I became a warrant officer, I never had the opportunity of attending a pre-walk. Pre-walk is a very efficient tool for me to be able to gauge myself to see what I'm lacking on. It's a good eye-opener for those who are able to attend and they see where they're at. At the very beginning, when they first come into to the class, when doing the orientation, we do a developmental counseling, which is we state all the do's and don'ts and the expectations of them while you're here. They have to be able to meet APFT height and weight. They have to conduct a four-mile foot march. They have to complete it. They have to do a military briefing, and they actually have to go through land navigation. I wish you would have had this. Uh, I didn't have this in the reserves. But coming to the Guard, I became a warrant officer, and then uh, going to PA, and being able to see the pre-walk. I want to bring us to New Jersey. I wanted to make it happen, and, and we have. Being able to help another soldier out and see their full potential and being able to mentor and lead them to become something bigger and better than what they are, it's priceless. My name is Chief Warrant Officer 3, Jose Carlos Ramirez. I am a TAC officer at the ITI, and I teach the pre-warrant officer candidate course.